Hello everyone, this is Krishnamur Chaudhary and I would like to welcome you in this SQL Server tutorial. So in this video we will learn this SQL statement uh, insert into select statement. So basically this uh, SQL insert into select statement can be used to insert the data from the existing table into SQL Server tables or you can say the other table or we can say that we can use this insert into select statement to insert data into a table from a result set which occur from SQL select statement ok so let's begin with the example and let's do the hand dirty with the practical examples so this is the syntax for the insert into select statement so here you can see that uh, this is the destination table so destination table means where you have to ins you want to insert the data ok so we have to create a table where you want to insert the data and here the column name column names here uh, the number of the column that you want to insert in the uh, destination table ok and then after this uh, select statement this is uh, select then column names uh, here you can insert the number of the column uh, all the names of the column that you want to in select and uh, insert in the destination table from the source the source source uh, it can be one or more tables present in the database you can join it to join join the two three or more tables and make a result set that you want to insert into the destination table ok so now they think uh, uh, when you use this uh, insert into select statement and uh, so you want to insert all the column uh, for that I show you an example ok so first we create a first I show you a table a source table so, test one so this uh, this will be our source table and for the upcoming uh, examples okay so as you can see the, there is a number of uh, n number of the records like uh, 610 rows in this table okay now we can create a table create table test two I create the name I keep the name as a sequence so we can easily understand and remember the table name ok and then first name is name name and it's a where care and hundred second uh, order here it will be a int comma uh, ordered quantity sorry so it also int so this is the R table and I just create this table so as you can see this our table has been created now we just want to uh, insert that uh, using the uh, insert into select a statement ok insert into test 2 ok then all the columns first column is name second ordered year then ordered quantity then select uh, or uh, you can use his star for test one 
oh, sorry from test one and execute this yeah you can say see that one uh, six one zero row affected and let's check select a star from um, sorry star from test so as you can see uh, all the row inserted into the table two from the table one no test one sorry okay now uh, if you want to select uh, insert uh, a data uh, column with the different arrangement so you have to give the these column name okay here so according to that column no uh, so arrangement it will insert now the second thing if you want to insert few columns okay then what you do now i just create another table like uh, this is table number 3 that i will creating okay select now table number 3 has been created and inserting into the three table number 3 and i want to insert only these two columns and this one okay sorry this going mistake yeah and from this table yeah here you can see this 60 uh, 600 and rows inserted and uh, now you can check whether data inserted or not so you can see the here uh, data is inserted and the order quantity it's reflecting now because we are not inserting data into this column now the thing if you want to insert few columns few rows sorry then what do you do so for that i show you how to do this uh, first we need to create table number 4 so i created a new table with test 4 sorry and in the test 4 i just ins insert into the test 4 table and uh, here insert all the columns so column name order quantity here also order quantity where order here order and market here is 2011 so you can execute now and 60 row affected and you can see here by test or select uh, now the select statement for the table text test for table num table and you can see the all the records from the year 2011 are inserted into this table test 4 okay now the thing come you want to you can use join uh, or anything here so order by group by so i show you an more example by inserting the record from the join okay now create another table table number 5 and uh, let's see now the table test 5 has been created okay now the write a select statement first and then we apply this insert into test uh, uh, select statement okay so, so 
order id is equal to d dot sales order id yeah second join production dot product sp on d dot product id is equal to d dot product id so here what we need first we need a column detail here the name d dot name second thing h dot date ordered date ordered it comma and quantity quantity from the d in d dot quantity order quantity okay and remove this stuff now select the query execute this query yeah so these are the query here the one problem here we need to uh, year only so by year yes ordered now it is fine and execute this so you can see here the year is coming okay now this is the result set and uh, we want to insert this result set into the test table 5 test 5 table number no oh, table okay so here i used insert into test five here the column name nine insert ordered year comma ordered quantity okay now this is with the joint and inside and let's see what happen i think it will give result yeah you can see these rows inserted into the let's see So all the rows you can see here the row is here if you want to keep ordered by then uh, sorry group by um, if you found the sum of this particular by the name uh, or group by the name okay and e so G -I -O -E -E. 
let's see yeah so here you can see that according to the name group then ordered here it is uh, sum of the total quantity and now insert into another table so i create another table table test 6 okay. so this is the table 6 that uh, has been created okay now change the name 6 and let's see what happen yeah 610 uh, row has been inserted into this table so let's see 6 and yeah so all the row has been inserted okay so this is the process of uh, moving the data from one table or multiple table to another table uh, destination table and you can use um, clauses here where clause group by clause ordered uh, anything according to your basically you have to create a result set first and that result set will insert into the destination table okay so this is for today thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and please comment and like this video thank you